All right, we're back. Now that we have uh, successfully murdered everyone, but nobody came. Yeah. Oh shit, am I gonna block out all the fixed encounters? That would be great. But nobody came. Hey Metatron, how you doing? Bye bye. I respect that, but unfortunately, you won't be the one who stops me. It's showtime! Now here's the part that I can't botch if I remember correct if I've been informed correctly. Holy shit! This is kind of awesome. And the awesome is over. I would love to, but ah. He was so badass. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Don't do that, Dan. It's time to go up and face our destiny. After all, I have no imagination of getting through here alive. simulator go because we all know how this is going to end or at least I hope we all do zoop trying to get in the middle I can't get in the middle oh balls I didn't even go get food Yeah, I didn't even go get food. Oh well. Yep, there's no one here. Howdy! <laughs> Never mind, Flowey is here. Take it. Got the real knife. About time. <laughs> yes. Where's my kill? Oh, 107 kills. I knew there was a kill count there. Right where it belongs.
Oh shit, red text. afraid. Determination as well, I guess. Oh dear god, stop destroying the fourth wall, you piece of shit! Uh, stop making fun of it. Yeah, pretty much. That That's how we got here. Not really. It's actually very constricting. Oh shit! All the shots fired! <laughs> he could be talking about me, but I actually, I, I think he's more accurately talking about LPs in general. Sorry, guys. El Flowey's firing shots at you. It could be either one, though. <laughs> I 
think he knows. He knows better. But I do pity you. You're you're so nice. You mean the friendliness pellets? I think I remember the friendliness pellets. Wowie. Just like last time, eh, Wowie? destiny. Hi, Sans. Hey, uh. is ringing. I'm going to stab it. Okay, I've killed the phone. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this a couple more times, just see how far I can get, but I, I have no machinations of getting through this. Flowey, you get to live, for now, unfortunately. <laughs> I guess I'm doing my job right. I can't handle this! I can't handle this! Okay! One final try. Third time's the charm, they say. For me, or for Sans. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, let's make it a third. to get past the initial bullshit, but I know it's like three minutes of hell. So, I think we call it there, ladies and gentlemen. Krieg died trying to kill everyone. His soul was corrupted by Iridium. 
Therefore, they couldn't use it and threw it into the lava. Done. Story's over. Don't even give a shit. I'm gonna go do a pacifist run because I want a fucking happy ending, assholes! And, uh, yeah, I guess Flowey got to live in the empty world that he helped create. Um, actually, I'm gonna go watch the ending because, fuck you, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> Undyne was one thing. This is entirely different. Give myself enough time to get a nice little picture of this because this is definitely going on the thumbnail. Anyway, next time, um, I don't know what we do. Lady number nine is coming out, but I'm not really down for it right away. So, I'm thinking something else. But, I don't know what that is yet. Um, I guess I could sit here for a little bit longer. You know what, this music is too loud. Okay, no music, good. Um, this game... <laughs> this game is certainly a thing. This is a game that you should play, or at the very least, you should watch. Although, I guess with, with what Flowey said back there, Toby don't think too highly of that. But... You know, neither here nor there, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there, like I said, there's a, as I said throughout the entire thing, there's a couple of game design decisions that I call into question, but ultimately the game functions, and it functions remarkably well. Um, honestly, if this game had been released any other year, I think it would have been eaten alive. Like, if it had been released this year instead, just because of the amount of other JRPGs coming out, but it got right in the sweet spot, right where it needed to be to have a nice success, and I'm, pr I'm glad for it, in all honesty. Um, really, there's nothing else much more beyond that. I enjoyed this game. Despite its flaws, despite its problems, I enjoyed the crap out of this. And you know what? At the end of the day, that's what counts. At least for me. So yeah, next time, uh, we do something else. I don't know what, but, you know, not Sans, because... Fuck that guy. See you guys then. Actually, all things considered, now that I've seen the ending, I feel like I need to weigh in on it a little bit. This has been a while, obviously. Um, you can't tell by the music and our adorable little friend over here. Uh, we, we, we went and saved the world again. Not on my watch. No, not really. Because I love you! Yeah. Also, I couldn't change my name off of Krieg because True Reset is the only way to change your name. Yeah, she was kind of a bitch. And by she, I mean Kara, who is Krieg's canon name, apparently. That's why I'm dancing on their grave right now. No, they, they really weren't. Like, from what I've seen, they kind of had an abusive relationship. That's why I'm here! Yeah. out, sort of. Gotta make the decisions. 
My, mom, my mother always told me, I always regret the things I don't do more than the things I do. But I guess in this case, you're to counter-argument. But I am with my friend. No, no it isn't. Trust me, I know. <laughs> yes, yes there are. Uh, no, I don't. Because uh, we have to talk about some stuff here. I'm just gonna sit here next to him. And we're gonna have a little chit-chat about Kara and why ultimately she failed! And we're gonna have a good old laugh at her expense, or more accurately at hers and Toby's. Because it, it kind of reaffirms what I've been saying this entire time, that this game, when you go offensive, is fucking boring! For those of you who don't know what the actual true ending of this is, I'll give you five minutes, or however long you need to pause this video and go Google the true ending, or not Google, just use that little search bar up above the YouTube video, because trust me, that's what it's there for, and I know there's more than enough people who have done genocide, which is why I feel no need to do it, because I'm not gonna throw myself in sands. Also, I don't want to go back through the entire game again, because obviously I'm here now. But yeah, take your time, don't do your thing, and I'll be here. Okay, back now? Good. Um, so yeah, to reiterate to anyone who didn't go, Kara is that it's that little euphoria, or she, she basically is that little euphoria rush every time you level up, every time your stats go up. All the good shit that us as RPG players love. The problem is, she thinks that's enough. And Toby thinks that's enough. Toby thinks that's why we do what we do. He thinks that's why, well, maybe he doesn't, I don't know. I'm putting words in his mouth, but Kara, at the very least, thinks that that is why us as RPG players kill mindless, mindlessly kill hordes and hordes of monsters just for a bit of stat up, that's not the reason why. The reason why is that those stats only matter when the system that they are in is fun and rewarding to the player. I wouldn't murder millions of fucking people in Destiny if I didn't enjoy the game. I wouldn't destroy thousands of bandits in Borderlands if I didn't find it to be incredibly fun. If the system around the murder isn't fun, then the murder is pointless. We only do those things because we enjoy the game. And this game does not have the combat system to require it. Now granted, Kara and everything she represents is an important part of the RPG formula. Paper Mario Sticker Star proved that, because without her, then battles become pointless, they become worthless, they become... They, they, you literally avoid them at all costs if you don't gain experience to level up. But she's not the end-all be-all like she wants to be. Without her, the, the game suffers, but with her alone, the game is still not necessarily enough. And I feel like this is an important factor that Toby needs to take into the future. You need something to diversify combat. You can't just have this combat system where you either have the defensive route, or you have the route where you just shoot things that shoot at you until one of you falls down from all the shooting, to quote Red vs. Blue again. And if you mix those two together, that could be an interesting thing. The problem here is, there's only one opportunity in Genocide where that's even remotely applicable. And that opportunity isn't- it, you can't even do it there, because there's no act options for Undying the Undying. Um... Sans doesn't- his, his entire fight is scripted, essentially, except for the part where you die a million times. His entire side of the fight is scripted. You can't change it. it it's basically an endurance fest. So, there- but if you combine those two together, where you had certain act options that unlocked as you leveled up, maybe, then maybe we could have something here, but that's directly in opposing to what he wants to do with this game, and I don't know how to fix this. There's no easy solution. And it comes right back to what I wanted to say this about, is that genocide should not exist. It's a, it, it's a, it's a shoddily implemented game mode, in my opinion, that only exists because of the fact that 
the internet is a masochist, and they want a super hard boss, and okay, Sans delivers, but was it worth it? Did we really need to go through all that just to get the tiny amount of information that we got at the very end? No, we didn't. You could have had Flowey d dispose that information here with Asriel, or, or anywhere. You, you could have done that somewhere else without having us go through the you're a monster path. And I guess he wanted to throw that out there for the people who wanted to be a monster. But for me, like I, like, like I just went over, it didn't work for me because I wasn't having fun. I wasn't caring. At the end of the day, you have to make me care. You have to give me a reason to kill things. I'm not just going to go out there and kill just to level up. I need, I need an explicit purpose. I, I... I guess the last thing I have to talk about here is Kara's little nasty gram at the end. And how... I, 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 I feel like Toby wants this to be so much bigger than it was, and part of me wants... Part of me really wanted to just kind of tough out Sans so I could do a Persona 3 reference at the end of there with taking responsibility for my actions, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. This is far more indicative of my style, just to sit here and talk about it and be more direct, because I feel this needs a direct response. But, here's here's the problem with the Nasty Graham. See that? That is the sound of me tapping my computer. This little thing right here, this is the problem. See, Toby? And, I, I guess Kara, more accurately, you think you're the one in control of all this. Not only can you not control me, you can't control your own game. As a very simple thing, anything you build, the internet can destroy in a heartbeat. And I'm not just talking about re removing your little nasty gram. I'm talking about changing the underlying fabric of this game. I've seen I, what I assume is either just videos or fan mods, but the point is, whatever you want to try and do, whatever control you think you have, the second you put it out there on the internet, all that control vanishes. And any attempt to regain that control and hold on to that control is nothing but a petulant child screaming. At least to me. You know, I, I, me, I'm the guy who can't beat Sans. And I'm over here bitching and whining and moaning, but, you know, I, there's a point to what I'm saying here, I feel. And that's why I'm doing this little extra bit, because I feel like it needs to be said. Toby, I understand what you wanted to do here, but it doesn't really work. There are parts of this that do not work. And I, I feel like I've gone over a good chunk of them here. There are certainly other parts that I've gone over in other... on the, um, pacifist route, but that's there for that sake, obviously. But at the end of the day, I still like this game. The, the fact that genocide doesn't work doesn't remove my enjoyment of this game, because the fact that, to me, genocide is so much of an afterthought. Like, you only really have two fights in that mode. I, I sincerely believe Metatron, or Metatron Mia, Neo was supposed to be an actual fight, but he got cut for time. And there's so many other things that, like, Genocide just feels like this half-complete mess. Hotland is completely missing, there's no, there's no story elements after Undyne, it's, it's sad, it really is. But at the same time, maybe that's the way it's supposed to be? I don't know. I don't really care. To me, it's not even remotely the meat of the game, so... It's an afterthought. I'm bitching about an afterthought here, but at the same time... Clearly, time and effort was put into it. Not as much as the rest of the game, but I feel like that time and effort could have been used to make a better package. I don't know. I'm just some dude bitching about video games on the internet. What the fuck do I know? Uh, either way. I guess that's it for now. Hopefully I got my point across in a non-rambling manner. Fuck, I probably did, but who cares. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time in whatever we're doing. See you guys then.